Wow, um, cool place. Um, I've never actually been here before, just realized that. <laughs> I mean, you do have some really cool stuff in your house. Like, I really like that statue over there. The one, the little one? Yeah. Yeah, with the kid holding that umbrella. I really like that one. It looks nice, I think. Yeah. Uh, where, where'd you get it? Um, um, I may be, I'm maybe gonna get it. Yeah. You really got it from there? Damn, I've really been there like five to six times by now. I've never seen it there. No, no, it's okay. It's yours. I don't want to have it. It's okay. Just keep it. I think it's like really cute. I really love these type of like little miniature model statues. I really like them. I think I have like three up on my shelf at my place. Have you have you not seen them? You've not really been to my place, have you? Yeah. But um I guess like I definitely am gonna look for these on Amazon. They would be on Amazon, wouldn't they? Right? Right. <laughs> Anyways, uh uh what are we doing for dinner? Are we going to order something? Or are we just going to cook? <laughs> it's been such a long day at, you know, work that I literally don't have the energy to sit here and cook right now. And I don't think neither do you. Do you? Don't have the energy either, do you? <laughs> exactly. So maybe we should just order. It's okay. I'll pay. Don't worry about it. I'll pay. Um, but anyways, uh, we can do that later. What time is it right now? Oh my god, it's only 10 p.m. It's too early for dinner. Nuh-uh, too early. What do you mean it's not too early? It's way too early. I eat dinner at like 11.30, 11.40. I can only eat dinner after 11. Like, I literally cannot digest the food if I eat something before 11. Literally. What time do you eat? Eight? You eat at eight? What the heck? Actually, you freaking eat at eight? I cannot imagine how sad your life must be. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but do you really? What, what time do you wake up? Six? Oh my god. You're like a grandparent. You're literally like a grandparent. Yes, literally. You are like my grandparent. Because who the heck is in their younger ears, eats at 8 p.m. and wakes up at 6 a.m.? Couldn't, could never be me. Could never be me. How do you do it? Uh, I, <laughs> I will admit, my sleep schedule is like messed up. But that's also because I have insomnia, so I don't really get to sleep. Even if I'm like super tired. Yeah, there have been times where I just, like, fall asleep in my car. Because, you know, uh, my insomnia, it's like, I will not sleep for literally weeks. And then one day I'll just get, like, a row of sleep from nowhere. And then I'll just sleep in whatever place I can find. Exactly. I was, like, going on a road trip with, like, some friends. And they and it started raining, so we all just stayed in our cars. Yeah, we took different cars. Because the last time I went with them, it was, uh, I think it was Jonathan's car. And his car was, like, totally crashed. We crashed his car. It was, like, candy wrappers everywhere. Then there were chips everywhere. Leftover sushi rolls and whatnot. There was literally everything in there. Like, we had all of our clothes in there. Our change of clothes, our tents, our bags of marshmallows. Our campfire supplies, our tents, everything was in his car because he has the biggest car. So, like, everything was in his car. But by the time that we were done with the road trip, everyone was so fucking drunk. And the second thing is that we totally trashed his car. He was mad at us the next day. He was so mad at us. Like, what did you guys do to my car? So, in that fear that our cars are going to get trashed again, we just took our separate cars uh, what were, what was I talking about again? Right, I'm sorry, I have a speaking problem? Yeah, 
<laughs> so we were in it started raining and we were just like okay you know what let's just get into our cars spend the night in there so we just uh came into our cars and while i was there i told i was planning to pull an all-nighter on that trip i was like i'm just gonna sit around the forest you know experience something see if forest ghosts are really real you know what i'm gonna do all those stuff but as soon as i stepped into my car i fell asleep literally i was on the driver's seat and i fell asleep so fast i woke up the next morning with the best mood ever yeah because i wasn't sleep deprived <laughs> exactly so my insomnia is like really bad so i think i don't sleep but at the times that i do sleep i think i sleep at like 3 4 a.m and then i wake up at 2 p.m Actually, no, I wake up earlier than that. I sleep at like 3, 4 p.m. AM, and then like I wake up at like, you can say like 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m., something around that clock if I'm just like not already exhausted. So yeah, <laughs> anyways. Um, can, I, can I stay here? Do, do you mind if I just sit on your bed? You don't? Okay, thank you. <sighs> it's crazy because we haven't been dating for a while and we're already at each other's places. Is that weird? I don't think that's weird. Do you think that's weird? Yeah, I mean, we've only been dating for like, what, like two weeks? <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, how are your, your, your grandparents, by the way? I saw them the last time we were in the park together, so how, how are they doing? They're doing good? Okay. That's good. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I don't really know what to talk about. Do you just want to, like, talk about us, like, how we've been doing in dating? Yeah. Okay, well, you tell me about your dating life, then. How many people have you dated in total, like, in the past? Really? Wow, I didn't expect that. Tell me about it. Uh-huh. No way. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <gasps> no way. Oh, that's something totally unexpected. <laughs> Me? I think I've had like two, three relationships in the past. Yeah. They all ended up on like bad terms except like one i think one we ended it on good terms because um he couldn't like you know uh manage a relationship due to his you know time he didn't have time for a relationship that was it but the others were weren't on such good terms yeah they really ended badly mm -hmm. how about yours did yours end up on good terms not a lot <laughs> i can tell yeah because when we first met you told me all about your exes i remember it <laughs> i remember little details about everyone silly that's just me it's not you're not special <laughs> i'm kidding i'm sorry you are special okay i you are special i love you i mean I, I like you. Uh, did I really just say I love you? I, I like you. I, I do really like you. <laughs> uh, forget I ever said that, right? Um, you, you are special. Y yeah, d definitely. Mm -hmm. oh, um, so, um, uh, uh, you were telling me uh, about your, um, uh, your, your, your grandma? Uh, no, what were you telling me? Uh, your past relationships, right? Uh, uh, what about them? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm Wait, so you've actually never kissed someone before? No, no, that's not lame. That's not lame. It's 
sound really lame. It's okay. We all take things at our own pace. So you've actually never kissed anyone before? Really? You really haven't? No one? Huh. No, I definitely have, but you haven't. Dang. That's a surprise. No, I don't, I don't mean to call you out in any way. I'm just saying, like, I didn't expect that. Yeah, because you told me you have had relationships in the past, so I thought there would be some kissing involved. Like, ever? Never? Have you ever cuddled with someone? Like, any of your past relationships? Did you guys ever, like, you know, get into bed and snuggle? No? Okay, um, understandable? <laughs> it's understandable. Yeah. So, uh, how were they relationships if you guys have, like, never cuddled or never kissed? It was just talking. It, okay, so you guys just talked about lovey-dovey stuff? No, you guys didn't even talk about lovey-dovey stuff? What did you guys talk about? <laughs> really? Oh, I see. No, I did not expect that. No, because you said you have had relationships. I was just like, you probably have cuddled. No? Oh, okay. I'm sorry if I'm being too personal. Am, am I? I'm sorry. No? Okay, if that's cool. Then, uh -huh. Um, so I was wondering, um, this is going to be like super weird and you might think I'm lame, but like, do you want to learn how to kiss? Do you? I mean, I'm just saying, because, like, you've never, ever kissed anyone before, so I was like, I might as well be your first, right? Because I really like you. <laughs> and I would love to be your first kiss. Mm -hmm. So, I can teach you how to kiss. I'm assuming you don't know, do you? <laughs> do you want to learn it? Yeah? <laughs> Come here, sit beside me. Come here, come here. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull you closer like this. Put my hand on your cheek. Really, really softly. Yeah. You like that? Mm -hmm. Wrap your arms around my waist. Do it. Good job. <laughs> Now close your eyes, close them, close them, close your eyes, good job. And now just let me do the work and follow me, okay. Good. <laughs> now, can you kiss me first? I want to see if you made any progress. You too? Okay, come here. There's definitely some progress. <laughs> you have soft lips. I'm gonna give you that. <laughs> have you ever made out with someone before? I mean, obviously you haven't. You haven't even kissed anyone before. I mean, until now. Have you ever made out with someone? No? <laughs> Consider this your lucky day. Come here.
you like it? You loved it? <laughs> what do you want to do now? I mean, you got your first kiss. How about some first time cuddles? You would like that? Mm -hmm. Well, then uh, I guess we should get in bed and we should cuddle to bed. Or do you want to eat anything first? No? Okay, same. Who needs food anyway? <laughs> Let's cuddle to bed and... Maybe we can kiss in bed while we cuddle? You think so? You'd like that? Okay. Okay then, come here.